Hi guys, this is part one of uh, four parts on how to create a game in C-sharp. This is to help you do your final project. Now, the first step is obviously you have to get some images that you're going to use in your game, so you usually go on the internet, and you might get some animated GIFs. Those are the, probably the best ones to use. Here's a site right here that I'm looking at, and let's say we wanted to, to take this image and then use it in our game. So what you would do, obviously, is you would right-click on the image, and then you would save it, somewhere on your hard drive. I've done that already. And then we move on to our next step. Our next step is to go into Animation Shop. If it was an animated GIF, load it up, and there you see it right there. It has lots of frames. Now you have to realize, if you're going to use this entire set of images, each one of these is going to have to be saved individually. So you go to each one. You can either right click and say Frame As, or you can just go up to the file and click Save As Frame. Okay, and so let's pretend we saved this one right here, which I have already on the hard drive. Then what you'd have to do is get rid of the white, all right? So it's a multi-step process. So if you just want to use one image, great. You just get rid of the white and you're ready to go. But if you have multiple ones, you're going to have to save every one of them and then load in a program like Adobe Fireworks, which I'll pop up right now. And you're going to have to make each one of those images transparent. Now, if you're not sure what transparent means, See how that has the white around it? All right, when you try to add that to your game and you're going to have a nice background, I hope, that white's going to be around it. It's going to make it look stupid. All right, so the next step is then to load in fireworks or a program like this that will let you uh, make it transparent. So what you do to make it transparent is you go to File and you click on Image Preview. All right, it'll pop up the screen right here. Now in this screen, you're looking for index transparency. Now keep your eye on the white. When I press index transparency, it goes like a checkerboard, which means it has become transparent. Then the last step in this process is then to go down here and press export. All right, and save this image somewhere as a transparent uh, GIF. So in our particular site, obviously you would save it somewhere in here. I'm gonna call this uh, new alien and that'll be basically the same picture but saved as a transparent image okay and if you want to see if that actually worked let me just open this again and there's new alien and in a second it'll load up the transparent version of it and there it is right there so you notice the white's gone and now you can put that in your game now if you've got seven or eight of these you're gonna have to do this seven or eight times but that's basically the first step in the process. 